moving on to the last part of the database of the task db4 uh, sammy wants a database report using the result of the query search carried out in part b of task db3 so using the query that we received over here sorry over here the query that we received which was task uh, which was uh, db3b we are supposed to create a report using that okay so uh, create a database report okay so first what we do is we open db3b okay db3b is over here and then we come to create and we come to report okay so you can use report design blank report and all that but then you'll have to create it from scratch okay you'll have to create it on your own what you can do is you can simply click on report and the computer creates a report for you so then you just have to make the change changes according to what the past paper tells you to change so so when you come over here it tells you uh, the database report must have a suitable title okay so the, let's go into design view let's go into design view for now and let's give a suitable title for the report so uh, db3b was about uh, if you come here db3b was about male players who bought large shirts right so we can simply say male players who purchased large shirts okay this was the name this is a suitable title then uh, next thing it goes on to say um, show only the fields first name last name email and sale date now when it comes to adjusting the columns i would recommend you go into layout view okay so it becomes easier over here uh, over here they say first name last name so let me first get that in order click on the first name heading press shift select the data and then drag and drop okay first name click press shift click on the data drag and drop first name last name then email then sale date then email click press shift click drag and drop and then sale date is supposed to come click press shift drag and drop okay come try again click shift drag and drop you see this red color line once it comes you can drop it we don't need this column press shift click on this press shift click on this click on this click on this click on this these columns we do not need okay so i just go one shot delete all of them uh, then what i go on to do is i can see this line over here right this line depicts that uh, uh, this is the end of the a4 paper okay so all my text has got to be inside this line so i'm going to move this also inside then moving this also inside uh, let's make it slightly bigger that's done too and then it goes on to say make sure that the column headings are easy to understand so when you say column headings we're talking about these headings so oh, once again we have to make this a little bit smaller okay now it fits one a4 paper so uh, column headings are easy to understand if you like you can press shift and select on these four and then come on to home and sorry come to format and you can say center align you can make it red you can make it bold and then go on to say uh, the database report fits onto one side of a4 and it should be portrait so you can see it's fitting one a4 paper and then next it goes on to say the database report is fit for purpose looks fine to me uh, then next it goes on to say enter task db4 your name can get number and number in the page footer and when it comes to this activate this particular task i recommend you go into design view come to design view. you can see this is the page footer area so just make this a little bit bigger and then over here you can see there's something called label okay don't ever use this one don't ever use text box always use label okay draw it over here and you're supposed to type task db4 your name candidate number center number okay that's done too then it goes on to say save the database report as task db4 so click on save and say task db4 click on okay that's done too and, and then print the database report okay so when it comes to printing a database report it's very easy you can come to print preview have a look at it, it looks fine footer is also there then you can simply go for print okay